All right, to start this video off, I actually want to travel back in time to 2021. Where, oh boy, I gotta, how the heck am I gonna do this? Oh, back to 2021 when I had a kind of unique style of putt where my follow through after my release kind of trail off way to the left. And I actually got a lot of power and pop and spin with this putt. It was a very powerful putt, but my thought process after that season was, you know, this isn't really a, a world championship winning putt. It looks, it just, it, you know, if it looks odd, if it looks weird with technique, chances are it's not as effective. And so I decided to straighten out my release point and um, try to just make my, my putt a little bit more online. I figured with enough time of, of doing that, at some point it would pay off to the point where it, um, it, it is a more accurate putt and a more consistent putt. Took a whole year, um, unfortunately, but 2023, my putting was quite a bit better. And uh, I ironed out a few more things that I had to tweak with my new kind of straight putting form for it to work. And um, yeah, once I applied those things and kept the practice up, 2023, my putt was actually really good. I'm on my way to the field right now to set up my basket, get some putts in, and I thought might as well talk you guys through some of those changes that I made in 2023 and in that 2022, 2023 off season um, that helped me improve a lot. And hopefully maybe you guys can uh, improve your putting as well. Let's get to the course and set the basket up. All right, got the basket. Welcome to my office. Um, I'm gonna jump right into this video and try to, try to keep it somewhat short and concise for you guys. Um, I'm going to try to recreate my old putting stroke that I had back in 2021 and before that. I'm um, just kind of set the stage, y'all. So, follow through off to the left. That's the, that's the goal. Okay, so I mean, I, yeah, I get so much power and pop and spin with that putt. But since it has this kind of curving motion at the end, I lose a little bit of the consistency that I want if I can keep the disc on a straight plane the whole time. Um, it has no choice but to go straight. So I think that has helped with getting my consistency up a little bit. Um, and then when I changed to having that straight release, I lost a lot of that power and that pop and that spin because of the, just the mechanics of it. And so in order to get that back, and this is where I kind of, you know, somewhat rapidly improved my circle one percentage because all of 2021, putting the old way was not a great putter switched and then in 2022 also was not a great putter but i had the new kind of straight stroke and then in 2022's off season is where i kind of quickly made improvements with a few adjustments and so what those adjustments were one was kind of pre-setting the wrist and pre-cocking it to give myself the opportunity to have a more full motion and more powerful pop with the wrist the second thing is kind of pre-setting the elbow and uh, instead of kind of starting with the disc away from my body, kind of bringing it in close and pre-setting the, the arm in the position I want it to be to, to let me still kind of start with the elbow a little bit and get a more powerful leg motion. So those two things helped a lot with getting me to actually have that, that power on spin and pop kind of back into my putt when I, when I lost it from changing from the, the kind of gain ball style like elbow lead kind of putt um, to kind of more straight putt. Obviously, Gannon does it a lot better than my old putt ever used to. You know, he kind of starts off to the left side of his body, gets that that slight calling motion with the disc to get the elbow to lead and pop the disc. And then my old putt just straight and then at the end curved it. So his was a lot, is obviously a lot more effective than my old putt. And my new putt uh, is trending in the right direction. So we've, we've improved it a lot in a short amount of time Partly because of those two things, partly because I also added a little bit of time um, when I kind of line up the putt. So instead of just lining up and putting right away like I kind of used to, now I do my practice stroke and then I line up the disc and kind of hold it for a few seconds and really try to focus in on that link and then, you know, go and putt. So I think that helps a lot too. That's obviously more of a tournament setting type of situation. And, you know, don't want to be adding too much time to our time violation is going to be called on you. You know, we don't want to be backing up the whole, the whole course. Nobody likes it when people do that. Um, but I think that can help a little bit just to add a little bit more focus into the actual putt. We see Ezra now 
for his birdie. Incredibly confident putting stroke and the crowd loves it. And then the last thing and definitely one of the more important parts too is I actually focus a lot more just on the actual practice putting green. So I focused a lot more on putting time into practice putting throughout last off season and throughout the season as well. I think that was super key is keeping my, my, the volume of my putting consistent kind of throughout the entire season. So that was, that was really helpful as well. And then the kind of double edged sort of that was my, my circle one putting obviously improved a lot, but since I maybe didn't focus as much on the throwing and circle two putting as I could have, that did unfortunately fall back a little bit and you can kind of see the stats right here. All those throwing stats took a little bit of a hit in the placing slash ranking kind of category. The percentages kind of stayed the same for most of my stats, but the ranking against the field, which is more important since that kind of factors in um, weather and course difficulty and things like that. So those, those numbers unfortunately got lost. So I need to focus a little bit more on the throwing side of things. Um, this offseason, which I've already been doing, and then obviously into next season as well, and kind of balancing out the whole game instead of having about half of my practice sessions being putting or soak one putting, um, I need to dial it back and maybe have half of it as throwing and then half of it split between circle one putting and circle two putting. So hopefully all those changes help me uh, balance my game out and build it all uh, to a, a more effective game so I can move up in the rankings of standings, place well in tournaments, and hopefully you know, become the best player on the world at some point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Hopefully you can maybe add some of these things, you know, presetting the wrist instead of having it straight, presetting it to allow you to have the full motion or presetting the elbow um, and keeping the disc in one straight line. Hopefully some of these things can maybe apply to your games as well and be that missing piece to, to get the, the improvement in the putting that we all want. Also, practicing, it's going to be, and that's important for anybody, it's so hard to improve if you don't, like, actually do the thing, you know, so... Unfortunately, laziness is a real thing, and so that definitely holds people back, myself included, from probably practicing as much as I could, but definitely got to get the reps in. Um, oh, and also, if you guys want to improve on anything disc golf related at all, check out the Power Disc Golf Academy. I, myself, was just brought on as a coach, and we talked mostly about max distance, but we've also got Paul Uliberry on there and Simon Lazat, so they also talk about putting and upshots and course management, tons of stuff. Um, super cool community definitely check it out if you want to improve but yeah this was just to kind of show you guys kind of what helped me like rapidly improve my my circle one putting to go from a pretty big weakness in my game to one of my strengths for this season so just took a few months in that off season to dial in those extra few things with the wrist and the elbow and all that stuff so hopefully this can help you guys out too but um i gotta get back to practicing so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed make sure you subscribe we've got some really fun videos coming up with a few of my homies down here on arizona you're not going to want to miss those should be a lot of fun and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next one make sure you also are getting the practice reps in because it's really hard to improve without actually doing anything okay i don't really know what i just said in that video but it's obviously all trash advice just get yourself in the gym throw some weight around get absolutely yoked and uh, that's the best way to improve your putting game this exercise in particular is super important i've got myself a 10 pound weight and as you can see i'm just replicating that putting strokes and this is the best way to actually build power and speed and spin and pop into your actual putt and make sure you get those mechanics dialed in and the muscle memory uh, as muscly as possible so this is the best way to actually improve improve your putt i'm obviously joking but uh this clip here you know, i probably shouldn't have included in this video you have to turn your head to the side to even watch it since since pull-ups are super difficult with just one arm i'm holding my phone with my mouth that's kind of uncomfortable but uh i, don't know, I thought it was kind of unique so sorry i had to see that but thank you for watching